Right, welcome to the first episode of the series where I will be teaching you how to code C Sharp in two minutes. Now, what is a variable? Variables are data stored in memory defined by the programmer that the application can access whenever it's needed. You can look at it as a box in which you can store things, or in technical terms, data. Now emphasis on things because you can only store specific things depending on what type you specify for the box. In this example, we'll be working with the string variable. What is a string? A brief description is a series of characters arranged and connected in a line. You can define a string by putting a that series of characters inside of two quotation marks. More on that in my other video that you can find called Learn C Sharp in Two Minutes Strings. When do we use variables? See, variables is one of those things that you will use all through throughout your entire programming career due to the fact that it's one of the fundamental things in programming you use them a lot now how do we use variables well first uh, you have to define what type of variable or a quote-unquote box it is remember how I told you that you have to specify what type of box it is depending on what you can store in that's what we're doing now so defining the type string then label the box and then put something in it so in C sharp terms we do this define the data type so string label it so we can easily access the variable let's do name and then we're going to assign the value to the variable aka put something in the box so we do that by putting the equal sign and then the the quotation marks because that's how you define the string and let's add the semicolon so we don't have any errors but now the variable is empty so let's put something there let's say hello world and then now if we press f5 and run the application it's not going to do a whole lot because we haven't told it to do anything, so we're actually going to print that out to the console. Console that write line, because we're going to write the line to the console. It takes a string as a variable. It takes a string variable as the parameter. So name. We pass in the name right there, and then press F5. It runs, but we couldn't see anything because we need to stop it so it doesn't close automatically. Console that read line or read key. You you decide. I usually go with read line. And I press F5 and as you can see it says hello world. Now I want you to create your own application because the best way to learn is not by watching videos or reading, it's by actually doing it yourself. That trains the muscle memory so much better. Now I want you to create a console application that prints out your name to the console. Alternatively look up the int variable which can store numbers and make it print out your name and age. Thank you for watching this video, I hope it was educational and I'll see you in the next one.